Hello, this is Xcode for complete beginners. I don't know about you, but I don't like reading um, text instructions very much. It's like reading physics at school. The square on the hippopotamus is equal to Einstein's hadron collider cubed. This is, uh, I'm, I'm sort of talking as if you're a five-year-old, and this is the first time you've opened the program. So um, could be useful, even for experts that first come to Xcode, you might like this. So this should be the first thing you see. Let's create um, a new project. Uh, we'll use one of their templates. Uh, what should we use? Master Detail Application. That's, they all work, these. Put in any name at all, doesn't matter. And um, you can, it's very good. You can store these um, project files anywhere and you can just copy them somewhere else and open them from their folder. So I, I, it's on the desktop somewhere. I've no idea where. It doesn't matter. Right, and then we get. Let's. Uh, I normally go to the main storyboard first. Open that up and reduce the size of it a bit. And then it's given us these three free. This free template. Now that works straight away. Uh, and if you run it up here in the emulator, that works straight away. Now we're going to look at some of the um, buttons that we'll need. So let's get the magnifier up. Um, now these buttons along the top set the positions of things, the windows. And you can click on them happily and you won't destroy anything. First of all this one here just um, gives you more room. The one in the middle I found quite useful because it brings up a special window at the bottom where you can put your NS log output. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then the one on just makes more room for the storyboard. You can click on these as much as you like, you're not going to destroy anything. The bottom right you've got all your uh, objects, the view controller, table view. This um, one here gives you a code window and you can code away happily in here and you can also drag stuff down we kind of connections by doing that and it will give you suggested things to write straight into your code so you don't actually have to program anything it just puts it straight in for you so that thing that looks a bit like um, a theatre mask doesn't it? it looks like the happy sad theatre mask is very useful because it, it normally even picks the right um, code window for you. I don't know how it knows what to put in, but it seems to know. If you need to change it, you can, uh, you've can. you got a choice of two there. You can just change it to the M file. You get an M file and an H file. The H file contains things to set up your particular little um, program you're doing here. And the M file is the kind of main one where you, where you put all um, the code that does things like clicking buttons and making text, things like that. So that's that um, theatre mask there. Then if you press the one to the left of that, what does that look like? Oh, I don't know. TV, I suppose. Uh, that gets rid of it and you're back to your main storyboard. Um, now this thing over here um, takes a bit getting used to this, but if um, at the moment you can see that blue line is selecting um, a master view controller there. But if we want to look at the navigation controller, press that the navigation controller is selected and you can uh, drill down on that so open that up and you can see a navigation item and there's a navigation item so this is useful when stuff is hidden behind other things in the master storyboard you can um, do it in detail here and you can also connect things if you press control and drag down you can connect one bit to another bit um, I wouldn't do that unless you know exactly where you're starting and exactly where you're ending. I've just connected something. I have no idea what I've connected, but so, so be careful about that. The other way you can do it is by clicking in the, which I prefer, clicking the diagram itself and then, um, right, edit that. Now let's have a look at this under row here. The best one is this thing looks like a robot with two ears and it's the show attributes inspector. If I go to a party, I look at the attributes of the people there, don't you? And uh, this show attributes is very useful because 
with the show attributes you can change the details of uh, your views like the color and the title and uh, things like that for example let's look at the um, this view here we can change the background color again we're using the attributes inspector and we can just um, change it to uh, another color let's say uh, pink color there you go and um, so that's the attribute so the most useful one when you're beginning um, the one to the left of that it looks like a television with a square in it sort of in a like in a betting shop isn't it um, that is the identity inspector and actually you can set the class controlling your object whatever in here has a class controlling it and you can set that here for example here's the master view controller that's you can that's been added you can add one of those yourself and that actually controls the master view controller there if we have a look at the in this TV the class controlling it is called the master view controller but we could set it to um, the UI table view controller if we wanted to by clicking that so that's um, a good one as well the one here it's called the connections uh, inspector now this is very useful when you get good at this because you can see what's connected to what I don't recommend you do this at the beginning because it's all too complicated but when you get a little practice you can check which things connect to what in your storyboard um, what else have we got the help thing well I don't know about you but I never use help it's um, too difficult I prefer a video or listening to someone speaking because it's, it never tells, it seems to tell me what I want to know unless um, I spend a good five minutes at it the head with the ears is uh, your, your best one and then see these at the top you can click away on those as it just um, changes how it looks but I say you, you won't destroy anything and um, you can just if it, something goes wrong you just have to click away until you've got the right shape the shape that you want uh, oh we're in an iPad that'll be nice let's see what we get Remember. oh and there we are we've got a tiny little master view controller there you can um, play around with that um, don't worry if you go wrong in a project which you will do you can just delete the folder that it's in mine's called OITI whatever that is so let's close it get rid of that too off you go now that should be there is that folder there you see if we have it's crashed let's have a look in that folder and there you are and then we can start it up again from there let's do that it just begins again and um, there so we can just carry on let's close that again if you if your project was no good you can just copy that somewhere else and open it from the folder or I'm just going to delete it so there it's gone so there we are see you in the next video I hope you found that useful bye